Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, so I know it's kind of early to be posting Valentine's Day sets, but I don't want to wait until everyone else starts posting their videos and someone take my idea. Okay, so I have to put it out first just because y'all i've never seen anyone do anything like this so i'm kind of excited to share this with you guys so yeah let's just jump right into the video i'm not gonna do too much talking in this video um yeah so for the most part the application for this set it's a pretty basic application all the nails are going to be um a full nail of new and i am using my mia secret cover pink <gasps> Yo, I'm sorry, my badass daughter took the juice balls and turned it upside down and wet up the whole bed, her clothes, the sheets. Y'all, like, I can't even blink. I can't even blink without Riley, okay? Riley doing something she knows she's not supposed to do. But anyways, y'all. Um, all these nails is going to be a basic application using my Mia Secret cover pink and this used to be my favorite nude but I've been neglecting it lately because I've been using my Not Polish um, Nude Panther but I decided to use um, the cover pink today just because I thought it would go good with this with the 3D flowers the pink um, and because this acrylic does have a little shimmer in it if you didn't know it does have a shimmer to it so I thought it was perfect for this set so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of these um, fingers real fast and it was kind of runny but not runny and it was kind of drying fast but not really drying fast it was more on the little runnier side because it was kind of um, chilly today while I was recording this video so yeah but for the most part the application came out really nice and I'm really proud of this set y'all I was so excited when I finished it and I'm like, let me hurry up and edit this video. This is probably the fastest I've edited a video to upload it to YouTube because I just don't want to wait even like a minute and then I see somebody else post a video like this because I'm going to be pissed. So, yeah. Also, for the most part, all the products that I use in this video today will be listed down below in the description box. But for any reason, if I do forget something you would, um, you're interested in purchasing that product, you can always leave me a comment down below. And I will um, leave the direct link for where I purchased it if I could find it. Um, for my brush today, I am using my Panna number 10 um, Kalinsky nail brush and you can find this on Amazon. It's I want to say around like $31 for this brush and it's a really great brush. I've been using this brush like with every set that I do this and along with my Kiara Sky brush. But y'all, I think it's time for me to size up a brush because I feel like I'll just finish my sets a lot faster and because I'm starting to you know get a little bit more control when it comes to my application and stuff like that I'm starting to familiarize myself with liquid to powder ratio for the most part I still have a long way to go before I'm actually to the point where I wouldn't have to do much filing when it comes to reshaping nails but for now I'm making it work with what I have um these nails I did not cap them I usually cap every set that I do but because this was a cover color and I was kind of um, slim on time because I had to go to work in like two hours so I did not cap these nails in my clear acrylic um, also all of these nails were supposed to be the 3d flower French but y'all I swear to god it took like 30 minutes to do one freaking nail with the 3d flowers like it was very time consuming um, by the time I finished the second nail it was like 20 minutes before I had to go to work so I just added some charms and stuff to the remaining nails and it still turned out it still turned out nice um but I think I do want to try this set again where I do all of the nails with the 3D um 3D flower French 
because that was the idea I had at first and I don't know I just thought it would be really really cute and even for spring this would be really cute for spring but I was going for more of like a Valentine's Day oh my gosh <laughs> So you guys, I am on my last bottle of Young Nails Monomer and this was actually gifted to me in my box swap that I did with Momo. Um, she sent me a Young Nails kit and it came with two, I believe, eight ounce bottles of Monomer and I finished one bottle and I've just been holding on to this last bottle for so long because y'all, I've been waiting for Young Nails to do their buy one get one free of their 32 ounce bottles of Monomer and they just have not done that. I thought they were going to do it for Black Friday, but they didn't and... I just wasn't feeling the strong smelling monomer today and Young Nails is the only monomer that I've used so far that is very low odor. Um, I know Not Polish says that their monomer is low odor but y'all know these companies be flagging, these companies be saying whatever so you can spend your low money or whatever. So if you have used Not Polish um, monomer let me know if it's really low odor. Um, because I might just need the I do love young nails monomer but y'all I just opened the last bottle and it's gonna finish so fast Okay, like I um, mentioned earlier, I'm not going to cap these nails. So right after I finish this application right here, I am going to go in with my e-file. Um, I'm using the Melody Suzy Scarlet Nail Drill. And I'm also using my Panna 5-in-1 Nail Drill Bit. This is, oh no, I'm lying. This is actually not the Panna Drill Bit. This is another 5-in-1 bit that I found on Amazon. Um, I think this one was like... $7.99 I believe and the panda one is like $11.99 so I found a cheaper one and it actually works the same as the um as the panda so I might need to get like two more of these so I'm gonna go ahead and y'all keep in mind this is a pop-off set so I wasn't you know filing my nails too much like well, I'm not going to say too much, but I wasn't filing them too hard because one thing I hate when I'm filming a video or when I'm doing these pop-off sets is when I'm filing and they pop off and I have to sit there and go through the whole process to glue them back on again. Like, I just hate it. It's just, it's time consuming. So, yeah, I'll be taking my time. Um, And also, when I get to using my hand file, it's going to look like I'm filing fast, but I'm really taking my time. Like, I just sped the filing part up so it just looks like I'm filing it um, fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and seal all these cuticles and file underneath the nails and then I'm going to go right in with my hand file.
for my nail file this is the 180 grit nail file from Carlash on Amazon I got the 50 pack and it was I want to say like $20 max After my hand file, I'm gonna go with my buffer block that I got off Shein. Y'all, I highly recommend you guys start buying your nail stuff off Shein. Like, it's very, very, very cheap and you get more for your buck. Um, yes. If you have not done that, I will definitely highly, 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 highly recommend you guys go on Shein and see what they have. They have literally everything. this right here this is just some alcohol i'm spraying on my nails just to clean up all that dust that's up in the little crevices and stuff like that um for my french i am going to be using this gel liner from not polish it's their regular gel polish collection and i'm just going to go ahead and draw a french on all of these nails So before anyone points it out, I got so carried away trying to do this set that I didn't even remember to line up all my fingers to make sure that all of the damn fringes stopped at the same point. So the two, the middle finger and the index, no, the middle finger and the, the ring finger, um, the fingers that I did the 3D flower fringe on, um, yeah, one of them is higher than the other, but we're not going to talk about that. we just going to ignore it okay because i see it so y'all don't come for me in the comments um you know this is a trial and error type of thing so i now know next time to line up my fingers just to make sure they don't come out looking crazy when one is higher than the other but that's okay like it's not that noticeable but it's noticeable if you do nails you're gonna notice it and be like girl be for real but the set still came out cute
So now for the 3D flowers, I'm going to be using these two pinks from Dynamic Nail Supply. And they have the best pink shades um, that you can find in pink acrylic. And then I'm going to be using this number 2 3D Art Nail Brush that I got off Amazon. Um, and as for my adhesive, of, as always, I'm using my Zule Bling Adhesive. It's the best bling adhesive out there. Um, and I'm just basically going to do these 3D flowers like... I'm not like doing doing it in like no order. I'm not starting from the top, starting from the bottom or nothing like that. I'm just putting them randomly where they flow. And I'm going to be doing this to the middle and the ring finger. I wanted to do all the nails, but y'all, it took so long to finish one nail. So, and I was kind of slim on time. I had to go to work. So, I just ended up doing two. Um so it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do 3D flowers now. Um I still don't know how to do it 100%, but this this set, y'all, like I said, it's one of my best sets I've ever done, and I've never seen anyone to do, I've never seen anyone do anything like this, so I'm kind of proud of myself, um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys just watch this process, I did speed it up, because if I didn't, y'all would be here all night watching me do these pedals. So yeah, I'll pop back in if I have anything random I want to say or anything like that. Oh, I know I don't show it on camera, but for my flowers, I am dipping it in the brighter pink first. And then I'm dipping it in the lighter pink just to get like that two-tone kind of effect. It's really, really easy. Just um, don't pick up too much. Don't pick up too much of one color on the brush because then your petal is going to be big as hell.
was screaming. I literally skipped over New Year's nails and went straight to Valentine's Day. But um, I'm trying to make up because December I was slacking heavy. Like I was slacking heavy the month of December with these Christmas sets. I felt like I had so many ideas in mind. But your girl was sick and stuff like that and busy. So I didn't really have time to do much. But for Valentine's, the Valentine's Day set, I'm starting off early just so I can make up for all the videos I did not post the month of December and November. So, um, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video because I know you guys are going to love it. These came out beautiful, and I know I said that probably like a hundred times already, but yeah, I'm proud of myself. So yeah, this finger, I sped it up like a lot, a lot because it's literally the same thing as last finger. So I just sped it up just so the video is not too, too long. Y'all, these look so cute. I'm so mad I didn't get to do all the fingers like this because maybe it would have been so nice like they look so good they look so good they look so good but it's okay i'm gonna try this again when i have the time because this is very time consuming it takes time it takes time it takes time that i don't have but i'm gonna make the time y'all when I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do it like one o'clock in the morning when the kids sleeping i'm gonna be tired as hell but i'm gonna get it done for y'all now like i um mentioned earlier um I did run out of time, so I just went ahead and added some bling and some some charms, some stones and stuff to these nails using my Zule bling adhesive and my Macart rhinestone glue. And baby, when I tell you this little squeezy tube is so hard to squeeze, like you gotta squeeze it, like actually like squeeze it with all your might, like this thing is hard to squeeze out. This pinky nail, I was going to use that little love charm, and I honestly should have because it's more Valentine's-y. But the little snake charm matched the gold on the heart charm, so I ended up using that instead. Um, the little love charm, it was like a little rustic. It had like a little rustic look to it. Um, so I probably used that in a different set with charms that match it. Um, I did go ahead and top coat these nails with my Ijo Beauty um, No Cleanse Top Coat, and I cured it in my um lamp for 60 seconds and now i'm going in with this cuticle oil that i got from not polish with no it has no scent but um these little cuticle oils i use them only on myself i don't use them on clients um so i'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in because my cuticles are screaming for some moisture and you guys these came out so cute look at that look at that picture time
but this is the end of this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and y'all i'm gonna be posting a lot more valentine's day sets um so this is a pop-off set so i am going to show you guys how easy it is for me to pop these right off when i'm finished because I'm not going to be able to do nothing with these long ass nails, but, um, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a happy, happy new year, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments section.